What's going on YouTube? This is Comic Book Aficionado. Today we're going to talk about A plus X. X. Avengers plus X-Men. And just for that, we got a dual thing going on. We got Mason AJ and IBM. IBM coming at you. <laughs> yeah. Twice the power, twice the flavor, twice the excitement. Okay. Two awesome characters meeting together. How you want to start this off? How you want you know, to start this off? You know, uh, first of all, let, let me address some concerns. Because a lot of people ask these questions. And the, <laughs> the writers and creators of the show even said, don't worry about continuity. Uh, continuity. Yeah. Uh, don't worry about continuity. This, just, this is just, not a part of the story. These are just awesome adventures of two characters coming together to whoop ass. Pretty much. That's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. It's whoop ass central. The very first issue of A plus X is a classic team up of Wolverine and the Hulk. Okay, who doesn't love those two characters? And you think, you know, I'm thinking like, damn, if it's, if it's Wolverine and the love, Hulk, who can go up against that? I love the fact that it starts off real simple. Wolverine is looking like, there's a piece of cake in the fridge. And the Hulk is looking like, I believe that piece of cake is mine. And Wolverine's or, or like, Hulk will smash. <laughs> and Wolverine's <laughs> like, and? <laughs> yeah, and the Hulk was looking like, so obviously Hulk is going to have to smash Wolverine because <laughs> he just ate my cake. <laughs> I just ate your cake, Hulk. And then... You want don't make me angry and don't make me hungry, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want none of this. Not, right. not in the Avengers Tower. All right. Cause I'll right. break that shit. All right, quick. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. So they're having, they're about to have this little little argument, which personally I like. It shows how the heroes interact with each other outside of just out fighting crime. This is just two roommates, you know, getting down. And right as it happened, a porter <laughs> opens up. And they're like, oh no. It's, the, it's older, the older selves come out, and okay. now it's Which, Maestro and old man Logan going, right. yeah, we're kind of here to squash y'all, and uh, we're looking for a Hulk, but uh, not you. Like that. And Hulk is like, doesn't matter what Hulk you look for, you found this one, Hulk smash, bam. So they, And then Wolverine leaps up and goes, oh, so now I got to face my older self. He doesn't realize that younger him is more badass. Younger Wolverine always beats older Wolverine. <laughs> Like that. So no. we, we uh, we're not gonna ruin it for you, okay? But you can check the, uh, check out the issue. But guess what? Just how this this is two heroes and two and two twice of fun. It's twice because each issue is also two parts, okay? This, and that was just the first part. Imagine no. the second part. Get to one. That's my favorite part. Ah, That's yeah. my favorite part. It was it was hilarious. Okay. Again, the Captain, Captain America, America and, and Cable. Cable. Okay. And this is Captain America like back in World War yes. Two. Okay, so this is called like America, and you know this is before Avengers. This is just kind of like kooky, corny with Bucky on his side. They fought the, they fought the first Sentinel. Okay, which <laughs> like, is like Steve Park like, <laughs> like, like you know how you have to have those little tab cards with people <laughs> names in it? Like before computers were invented, that's who that Sentinel was. And you was looking like, good thing I made these with my lead pencil before oh. before I came to this time era. I'm gonna kill the mutants. Before they even become mutants from so, Nazi Sentinels. So he's looking uh, just a little bit too ahead of himself right now. But <laughs> came pretty much Captain America gets this mission to stop this new threat that the Nazis are developing. And while he's doing that, he's like, okay, Bucky, we all know what's, what's going on. We gotta be stealthy. Second, he says that a giant portal opens up and cable so comes down. Shock by too. <laughs> hey, Captain America, well, so much for that stuff approach. Which, you know, is very interesting to me because we just got done watching, as a producer, X Men vs. Avengers. Very, and, and Captain America. It's very just interesting been, to see him try to do a stealth approach. <laughs> a dude who always, smack, who always smacks people in the face with his shield going, uh, America, bow. You ain't never see him come stealthy. You see red, white, and blue, uh, and then like a Nazi on the ground. And that's how Captain America. Well, he explained that. He was like, why do you think I'm a dude walk around with a shield dressed in an American flag? He was like, while I'm doing this, I'm just a distraction. Bucky's the one who does the rover, and you see Bucky in the background going, snip, yeah. bomb, C4. <laughs> Sentinel head goes to the ground, explosion. That's first Sentinel dead. You know, you, even the mutants gotta thank Captain America for that. <laughs> Be sure to also comment down below. Let us know what your favorite, your, what your team up between X-Men and Avenger, what, what you're hoping to be, who you have seen, who you haven't seen, what you imagine, you know, different two characters, what, how would they what, interact yeah. with each other, right? Yeah, and, yeah. and be interesting with it. They're all like, Something that we couldn't even think of before. Like, you know, don't get me wrong, Hogan Wolverine was a great team up, but throughout That's kind of classic. Just, you know, Cable and Captain America was was the one. You know, those are like Nightcrawler and Hawkeye. Yeah, just you know, a teleporter and an archer. See see what goes on there. That just <laughs> sounds the Te Teleport and sniper. Could you imagine that just zero <laughs> That would be fantastic. Yeah, but you know what? Let us know how you feel. Definitely comment down below. Check us out. Latest.